Let's talk more about that 5.5 breath because that is what you call the perfect breath in your book. And I'm sure that's why these people are trying to mimic it and, and getting stressed out if they're not hitting that exactly on, which we don't want to cause people to do by talking about this. But yeah, there's there's more to that as well, isn't it? Five and a half seconds in, five and a half seconds out, it's five and a half breaths per minute. And is it five and a half liters per breath? It's five and a half liters of air uh, 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 per minute. As well. Per minute, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, way off on that one, yeah. but five, I knew it was a five and a half. Yeah. So that would be what you consider the the perfect breath to aim for. So if if you look at the science, if you look at researchers who have studied this this breathing pattern, they call it coherent breathing. It's also called resonant breathing. You call it whatever your yogis call it something else. Um, you know, Taoists call it something else. But it's just slow, consistent, fluid breathing. And when we breathe this way, if you have a heart rate variability monitor or blood pressure monitor, this is a great trick to try. Take your measurements before and just breathe this way very calmly, about five to six seconds in through the nose and five to six seconds out. You don't need to be wearing your yoga pants or sitting in front of Buddha, whatever. This is a biological function, right? So just five to six seconds in five to six seconds out and check out what happens to your heart rate variability. Check out what happens to, to your blood pressure as well. I've seen my blood, my blood pressure go down 10 to, to 15 points after a couple of minutes of doing this. And that, that is not rare. This is the body working at that, at that state of efficiency. And it even affects your brain function too. It allows different areas of your brain to, to interact uh, more easily, more fluidly. It connects your frontal cortex with your emotional centers of your brain, hippocampus, amygdala, and more. And we know this from, there was a study in, at Northwestern University, University a few years ago that, that showed this, that it actually allows us to think more clearly, to think more reasonably. Because of course it does. Our bodies are, are able to operate in that state of peak performance.